Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to change the color of leaves based upon which biome the tree is in. These are all a plains biome. That's a desert biome right here, leaves change. And then back here we have badlands biome, leaves change again here. And then right here we have badlands next to plains, and we have a mix of those two biomes in the leaves. Now for this we need to have Optifine installed, so let's go ahead and take a look at that and see how we can install Optifine. Here we are at the Optifine webpage, and you want to go up here to Downloads. And right now we're in version 1.18.1. Now if you're looking for a previous version from an earlier version of Minecraft, just click on Show All Versions right here. And there we go, you can choose your version from that list right down there. But we'll go here to Download. Now this takes you to an ad page. There's the ad, ignore the ad, and just watch upper right hand corner, and wait for this to say Skip. There it is. Click on Skip, get you past that ad. And here's the actual download that you want right there. So we'll go ahead and we'll download this onto my computer. I'm just saving it right here into a folder I named Packs. Just a new folder just called a Packs. We'll be making our resource pack right inside of here. Comes in as a .jar file, which of course means it needs to be opened up with Java. So I'll choose Save. And you may see another add in behind. Just close the window out and you're done with that. And there we go. There it is. Now if you don't see this icon up here, First, make sure you're seeing icons, and that's up in the view menu, and I have my set for large icons, so we can see that this is Windows 11. Make sure you're seeing this icon. If you're seeing something else, then Java isn't set up properly to run .jar files. Now to fix that, you can right-click on the icon, and then choose Open With, and you should see it right up in here. If you don't see it here, choose Open Another App, and in here, click right down here, it's kind of blank space right here, click on that one, and this thing gives you a list of other programs that will work, and if you don't see it down here, you can click right down here. And this will then let you navigate and find Java right in there. So pretty easy to do that. Another way to do that is just to go to the Java website and reinstall Java, make sure it's up to date. And that will then also reset everything so that then opens up the jar files. Now to install, just double click on this. It will then bring up the installer window right there and simply click on install. Now mine's already installed, so I don't need to do that. Once that's done, you should then see that in your launcher. There we are, and it should say Optifine right down there. Okay, that's all set to go, and we can now move on to the next step. And we need this file right here. And this is a sample that comes from Optifine. Let me show you the page where you can get this, where you can download this. And it's back here at the Optifine website, and click on Documentation right there. And then here, click on Images, and you want the first one right there, biome grid template.png. So go ahead and click on it. It'll bring it up right here. Click on the download button and then download that into the same folder that we just downloaded Optifine into. Let me just open this up. There we go and make it larger. Now this is a grid format to control the colors of the grass in biomes. And you see right here, that's the default one right there, kind of a triangular shape thing. This is a grid format. This is much easier to use. The vertical axis here, this is the Y axis. This controls the altitude. Lowest is right down here, highest is up here. And then the biomes, each individual biome is right across like this. So these are showing individual biomes. Now I've already recolored one of these for my demonstration. Let me bring that one up. Close this out and bring that, that's right here. And I did this for my video on how to change grass color. Let me show you how you recolor these. It's actually very easy to do. And I'll do that in a program called paint.net. Now any paint program will work fine for doing this recolor. It's really easy to do, but we'll do this in paint.net because that's free. Let me bring that up right now. There's paint.net in the background and here is the original download for this. I'm just gonna drag it and drop it like that. Now click open. It's a pretty small file as you can see. And let's zoom in on that. And as I zoom in here, you can see we have a grid showing, and each one of these lines here is one pixel wide. And across the top, I have this set for pixels, and that's up here under View and Pixels right there. So we're seeing this as individual pixels. Each one of these columns in here represents a different biome. You just need to know which columns represent which biome, and you can then fill that in, and that will then give you that recolor effect. Now to find the numbers for these, let me take over to another web page where you can find that. Now I'll put this link in the description so it's easy to get to this page and to this spot in the page. This is way down the page, but it's the biome ID numbers. And if we scroll down here, we can see just a few things. The void has an ID of zero. Plains is an ID of one. Sunflower plains, an ID of two, and so forth. Here's desert right there, ID of five. And we have swamp, forest, a lot of stuff. And if I scroll down just a little ways down in here, bamboo jungle is right here. I haven't done this one yet, so I'll show you this one. That's 24. Here's the Badlands at 25. Okay, let's just get this out of the way and back to this. So you want to find that number up here, just across the top, and there it is. There's 24. That's 25. That's 24. 
And I'll go over here and grab this tool, this is the rectangular marquee tool. And right here, I want to grab this, make a selection here, scroll down to the bottom, and then pull it back so it's exactly one pixel wide. There it is. And then fill that with whatever color you want. Let's say I wanted to have this one kind of a red orange right there. And I'll grab the paint bucket and we'll just fill that in and scroll down. Let's make it a couple of shots to do this. And there it is. That's all nicely filled in. So we have that as red. So that's the way that you go ahead and come in and recolor or paint each one of the different biomes. Just base the column here on that number that we looked at and then fills in with the colors that you want. All right, then simply save it out and give it a different name. I'll go up to File and Save As. And there's my original name. I'll just change this one here to Trees. Save. And OK. And there we go. That's done. We'll be using this one, though, for this discussion. So I already have three biomes taken care of in here. I just named this one Optifine Grass. We'll use this for all of the different trees. Next thing you need to do is to have a packed PNG file. This can be anything that you want. This one's at 256 by 256. I made it square and just put my spatial character in there. And you need a pack.mc meta file. Now, the current version of Minecraft does not include this anywhere. So the easy way is just to download this from my website. If you want to copy out the code, I'll put that code in the description. But it's easier just to download from my website. I mean, bring that website up. And that's right here. And I have all the different formats in here, all the different versions of the pack.mc meta. Just download it, unzip it, and you'll have that file. Also on this page, I have the default icon right here, Pack PNG, and a larger one right there. This is at the 256 by 256, and this is the size I used for my spacesuit, Pack PNG icon. And while we're right here, take a look at the Patreon right there, and consider subscribing as a Patreon and helping me make more of these videos. Okay, let's get this out of the way. So that's all taken care of. Now, Pack MC Meta. Let's open this thing up. Double click. I like to edit mine inside of Notepad++. That's what I'm using right here. It's a free download. I'll put a link for the free download for this in the description also. This is just a real easy way to edit any kind of code. Now, pack format, this needs to be correct. Right now in 118.1, that's format 8, and that's fine. And then up here, just put in a description. This can be anything you want. I'm just going to change this one to Optifine. Let's call it Trees. There we go. And choose Save. And that's done. That's all you have to do with that pack MC meta. Now we need to build the actual resource pack. And the first thing you need over there is an assets folder. And then go inside of this, make a folder in here named Minecraft. Go inside of this one and then make a folder here called Optifine. And inside of here, we need a couple of things. First, you need a folder named Color Map. And then you also need to have a color.properties file. And this one's easy to make and you can make this in any text program. I happen to like using Notepad++. There we go. And this one's real easy. And it needs to say palette.format equal sign and grid since we're using a grid format color map the encoding right here needs to be set for ansi so set that to ansi and then file doing a save and you're saving it into this folder right here this is the optifine folder not inside color map just in the optifine folder and the name of this file is also pretty easy it's just color dot properties and choose save and that's done let's get that out of the way and you'll see it right there Okay, that's all taken care of. Let's go inside a color map. And here there are a couple of things going on. First off, this is my color map for coloring the water in the game. I have most of the water color, just a standard blue. And then I have different colors in here for the three different biomes that we're looking at. And then I have two different color maps over here. And then a custom folder here. So make a custom folder. And for these two color maps, let's go back here to packs. What that is, is this one that I'm basing everything on. I just made a copy of this. And then we put it inside of the color map folder right here. Those are both copies. And it's renamed one birch and one pine. For whatever reason, those two trees have to be handled separately. Okay, that takes care of those two trees. They're all ready to go. Let's now take care of all the rest of the trees in the game. And that's inside of custom. Open this up. And we have two things in here. This is that Optifine grass that we showed at the beginning in the packs folder right there. Same thing. And then I have one here called grass.properties. Now this really is just the name of the properties file that uses this particular color map. You can name these anything you want. The grass.properties has to say dot properties at the end of it, but the front part there can be anything at all. It doesn't matter. And this can be anything you want to name it at all. Again, doesn't matter. Let's go inside of this one. Here we go. Again, I'm opening this up inside of Notepad++. And then we have three lines in here. The top line format equals grid. Again, telling Optifine that we're using the grid format. The second one is blocks equal. 
And this is the name of the blocks that we want to recolor with the color map. And then source equals right down here, dot forward slash. And then this is the name of that color map right there. And then up here, and then in blocks, this is where you put in the name of the different blocks that are working. Notice I have my grass block is right there. That's the first name. Then a space. And here I have the names of all the leaves, the leaf blocks in the game. Let's go back to the game for a second. Let me show you where you find those names. Okay, we're back in the game. Notice I have all of my trees right down below here. And that just gives me the in-game name. What I need is the actual name of that block. It's easy to do. I'm going to just hit the E key, and this brings up the blocks. Now I'm in creative. If you're in survival, the layout will look a little bit different, but it's the same basic thing. And we have our leaves up here under decoration blocks. And this is a roll over these. The top name is the name that you see inside of the game. And the bottom name down there, Minecraft colon spruce underscore leaves. That's the actual name of the block. Now the way you get that second line, if you don't have it already showing, is you hold the F3 key down and tap the H key. And that gives you these expanded rollover tooltips so that you can then see the actual name in there. Let's go back out to the resource pack again. There we are. And then we just put those in here. There's the oak leaves right there. And then a space. And here's our spruce leaves. And then a space. And so forth. We get all of those different leaves in there. Now I'll also put all this list here of these leaves inside of the description just in case you just want to copy that and paste it in so you'll have that to go. And you can download my whole resource pack from my website. Okay, so that's all set to go. Close that out. So that takes care of coloring all the rest of the leaves. So as you saw, we have two places for our leaves. In here we have birch and pine. Those have to be done separately out here. And then inside of custom, we have everything else which is done with that one color map right there. Okay, let's now go back to the packs folder. So our assets is now finished and we can rebuild this into a custom resource pack. So you'll want that assets folder. Hold the control key down, click on your pack MC meta and your pack PNG file. Right click inside of Windows 11 and compress to zip. There we go. All this calls on custom trees. And click up there and there we go. Now if you're in Windows 10, you just go up to the share tab and then click on zip. Same exact thing. Okay, let's now get this into the game. So for that, I'll bring up the Minecraft launcher, which is right here. And then go into installations. And then over here, right hand side, click on that folder. And this opens up the Minecraft folder. Now in here, come down to resource packs. It's right there, open this one up. And here's our resource packs. Now in here, Optifine Leaves, that's the one that I have in the demo right now. We'll change that once we get back into the game. But need to have our new pack in here. So here is the new pack. I'm just gonna take this and just drag it and drop it in right there. There we go. There's that new pack. It's now actually inside of the game. Let's minimize this out of the way and get that out of the way. And let's switch over to the game and test that out. Okay, we're back in game. I'll hit the escape key and again, and we're at the game menu right now. Okay, click on options and resource packs right here. Now there's the Optifine leaves that we're seeing right now. I'm gonna deselect that one, choose done. Let's make sure that goes away. And done again, back to game. Okay, leaves are back to normal. Let's now go back out again, hit the escape key options, resource packs, and let's find our custom trees that we just made right here. Click on that. There's our custom trees. Choose done. Back into the game again. And done again. Back to game. And there we go. There's our nice recolored custom trees. It's actually pretty easy to do. Once you've gone through it a couple of times, it makes a lot of sense. It's very easy to control. Okay, if you like this video, hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe, and I'll see you next time.